Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be reacting to Cosmic Wonders newest video, Spider-Man No Way Home, trailer update teaser coming soon. In this video, I'm going to be reacting to the video that Cosmic Wonder made, also giving my two cents on all the Spider-Man news. But before we get into it, if you guys haven't already subscribed to Cosmic Wonders channel, make sure to do so by clicking the link in the description down below. If you guys are new to my channel and you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button, make sure to do so if you enjoy this content. Also, turn notifications on so you don't miss any time I upload a video or I go live without wasting any more time. Let's get right into it. What's going on, everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. And the other day I did a Spider-Man trailer update video promising that if I heard anything else, I would update you all. And that's what I'm doing. And it looks like we have some good news as the trailer is seemingly coming pretty soon. And I want to know what you think in the comments down below. In the teaser trailer, do you think that we'll see Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield? Or do you think they'll save that for the official trailer? Or do you think they might not even show them at all? Some things that... Okay, so I, I don't think they're going to show either of them but i think they'll tease them like they might have like two like spider-man like they might have like easter eggs for it i think like they might show like two spy at the end of the trailer maybe like right after the like the date and all of that they might show uh like two spider-men standing next to each other and then they'll have tom holland spider-man in the very front so it's like you just see their arms they're like they're two different suit hands that would be so cool or if we get like a subtle like pizza theme and then the Andrew Garfield theme or something like that, I think that'd be pretty cool. I don't want them to show them though. Like I don't want to see them in a Spider-Man suit until the movie. Even in the official trailer, I don't want to see it. I don't think we'll get anything of them in the teaser. We might get like, we might get the music stuff in the trailer. We might get smaller hints in the trailer, but I think, I mean in the teaser trailer, but I think in the actual trailer, we'll probably get some like variation of a shot of all three of them in the same room or same area. And then in the actual movie, we'll get to see it. I, I really don't want to see Tobey Maguire in a Spider-Man suit like until the actual movie, but it's whatever. If, if we see it, I wouldn't be too mad, but I would still be kind of, I, I wouldn't really like it because we've already, we already know so much about this movie when it comes to like cast members. We, the only two we don't know are literally Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. Like those are the only two people we don't know. We know Doc Ogg, Electro, all of them. We know the villains. We just don't know those two if they're confirmed or not. So. I think if we see a teaser, like if we see a little tease of them in the in the official trailer, I'll be fine with that. Happened with Venom Let There Be Carnage that were kind of giveaways that the trailer was coming pretty soon are now starting to happen with Spider-Man No Way Home. And also keep in mind that Spider-Man and Venom are both Marvel Sony franchises. So typically when they decide to release the trailers how many months before the actual film comes out, everything they do before the trailers come out, they're all pretty much the same because they're coming from the same people. So let's talk about what's happening with the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, but quick reminder, only nine days left in my Stormbreaker giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel and Cosmic Culture, link in the description down below. So first things first, if you did not catch my video the other day, something really awesome happened, which was a good sign that the trailer is coming soon. And that is the official Sony Pictures Germany account on YouTube and on Twitter changed their oh. background logos to the Spider-Man No Way Home logo. As I mentioned in that video, companies don't do this unless they're about to start promoting movies. And you don't start to promote movies unless the trailer is already out or about to come out. Because you can't really promote something that people don't really know about. Remember, our community, our awesome community, we love this stuff, so we look it up every day. But the normal public don't really do that. In fact, it's kind of crazy to think that some people don't really know anything about the upcoming Spider-Man film. So this is a very good sign that Sony is getting ready to drop a trailer. Now, another great sign. I could see a, a possible, like, I could see, like, photos, like, official photos releasing soon. I mean, the movie's been in post-production for a hot minute now, a few months at least. So I could see like official photos and then a teaser trailer. Um, I Honestly, I, I think we could get an Eternals trailer when Black Widow comes out. I think that's our biggest bet right now. But I just don't see them dropping a uh, No Way Home trailer before an Eternals trailer. Like we got a little teaser for Eternals in the Marvel uh, in that Marvel video. If you guys want to check it out, you guys can click right up here. I reacted to it. But I just don't really see them dropping an Eternals trailer without dropping. I mean, dropping the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer without dropping an Eternals trailer. I I think they should uh, drop an Eternals trailer sometime soon. But I mean, what? It's let me check the date. So it's only May twenty third. The day I'm recording this video, this video will probably go up like three, two days late, one day late. So I just don't really see, we still have like over a month until Black Widow comes out. And so I don't really see 
uh, No Way Home trailer dropping within the next month because I, I'm honestly thinking that the Eternals trailer will probably drop sometime during Black Widow. It might premiere in theaters, the opening night of Black Widow. That might be something they're trying to do. I just don't see a No Way Home trailer coming out before Eternals. Maybe that's what Sony wants to do. Because remember, I think I think Sony is in charge of marketing. So that would be something that maybe Sony is in charge of, so they're fine with it. But I don't think Marvel would be fine with it. Also, Chloe Zhao... Oscar Oscar award-winning director. They need to have that in the title. They got that in the title now after she won the Oscar. So they, they need to pump out the Eternals trailer because I'm going to be honest, I'm excited for Spider-Man No Way Home, but Eternals could really blow me away in terms of like something completely different for the genre of superhero movies. And so I honestly, am ex I'm expecting a lot more from an Eternals even teaser trailer than a Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. So I want a Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, obviously. You guys know I love my reaction videos, but I just don't really see them dropping it. If it's, I don't really see them dropping it before Eternals. That happened today is that Amazon now has officially licensed Spider-Man No Way Home merchandise. We're talking sweatshirts and tank tops and shirts. This again is another really great sign pointing towards the trailer coming out relatively soon. Now we've had some people speculate that it's probably coming in June or July and people like Grace Randolph over at Beyond the Trailer said that they've heard it's coming out in June or July. And I don't want to really get people's hopes up in case it doesn't happen, but it is kind of seeming like it's gonna happen in June or July. And here's my reasoning. This is actually what happened with Venom Let There Be Carnage. Of course, we waited forever for that trailer. Of course, it was delayed a lot, but we waited about a year for that trailer from when it was supposed to come out. But right before it did come out, Sony kind of started doing the same thing. They kind of started to promote it just a little bit, and then randomly one day you could go to Disney's official website, and you could go to Amazon, and all of a sudden you could buy Venom Let There Be Carnage merchandise. So that day I did a video talking about how that meant that the trailer is probably coming pretty soon and then the very next day the trailer came. Now, the trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home is not coming tomorrow. If it does, I'll be extremely shocked, but I'll be happy. But do not expect that. It is most likely coming in June or July. If it comes out in one of those months, it's about six and a half to five and a half months before the actual film comes out, which is when they typically release teaser trailers. And the filming has been wrapped for some time now, giving the editors plenty of time to create a really awesome teaser trailer. Remember, it's just a teaser. It's not a full on trailer. So plenty of time to create a good teaser trailer. And now now Sony Pictures Germany has changed their background on Twitter and YouTube, which means other Sony Pictures official accounts will probably do the same relatively soon. And the fact that merchandise, official merchandise, is now becoming available on Amazon and will most likely be available on Disney soon. These are all great signs that the trailer is most likely coming very soon. So of course, as always, if I hear more, I will definitely let you know. But in the meantime, within the next month or two, it looks like we are going to be getting the official trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home in my question to you is in the teaser and remember it is a teaser not a full trailer do we see toby Maguire and andrew garfield yes or no let me know in the comments down below all right so will we see toby Maguire and andrew garfield in the teaser trailer i do not think so i don't think we'll see them i don't think we'll see any traces of them and if we do i think they'll have a massive part in the movie because the teaser trailer like yeah it's supposed to get you hyped for the movie but it's also just supposed to tell a basic premise of the movie and i if if Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire have a main role in the movie, I, I, that's not really what I want. I kind of want to, I want this to be a Tom Holland Spider-Man movie. And then on top of that, I also wanted to like just have the other characters as side characters, maybe just in the final battle when he needs help or something like that. Because we all know Tom Holland Spider-Man just always needs help. So <laughs> not no hate, but it's true. We've seen the last two movies. But in all seriousness... I don't think we're going to get too much uh, uh, shown in the teaser trailer. I do see us getting a, a big tease in the actual trailer though. And what Warren said about the release date uh, in, in regards to like the Amazon merchandising and stuff like that, I think that's a good sign. I think that we'll probably get a teaser. Hopefully we get it end of July, maybe August, I think, because if the Black Widow trailer, if the Black Widow movie premieres the Eternals trailer, that means it's July 9th that we're going to be getting an Eternals trailer. I think that's too close, like back to back to release. And that if the Eternals trailer, if that's a full trailer, then it makes sense. But if we're getting two teasers back to back in one month, 
for massive Marvel movies, like the two biggest Marvel movies of the year. I don't know if Marvel would really do that, but I do see the No Way Home trailer coming end of July or early August. That is my prediction. Let me know what you guys think will happen in Spider-Man No Way Home's teaser trailer. And if you think that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield will be in the teaser trailer in the comments down below. And that's it for this video. If you guys are new in here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn notification on so you miss any time I open a video or I go live. If you guys like me reacting to other YouTubers videos, also let me know by dropping a like or down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.